Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with Gus and Cho Associates. There's two big blockers out there that completely stop you from getting a loan. The, there's more, but these are the two big ones that come up the most. There's judgments and there's tax liens. If you have a judgment or a tax lien, you have to do this for each one. If you got a judgment, you either A, pay it off, B, negotiate it for a lesser balance and get a and pay and pay that balance and get a release. Or C, pull it out of judgment status, renegotiate it, start making payments and make three monthly payments on time and then we can use that debt against you. Um, you can't make three months payments in one month, you have to wait three months. You have to make three monthly payments. Tax liens or old tax debt. So let's say you have old tax debt that hasn't turned into a lien yet, you need to go on a payment plan and at least make a payment. So if you owe the IRS $5,000 from last year's tax bill and you don't have a payment plan and you haven't made any pay you can't get a loan because you have to prove that you paid that. So if you don't have the five grand, you have to go into a payment arrangement with the IRS, they have to give you a letter, you have to make a payment. Now if it's a tax lien, it's a little more complicated, you need to get the IRS to subordinate it. If they're gonna put a lien on your new house immediately as soon as you buy it, a bank won't close on it, so they want the IRS to say, we'll take second position. They'll do it, um, you have to apply for it with the IRS, a little more complicated. One out of 500 people do it, that, run a, that have an IRS tax lien, but I do do those loans. So keep that in mind, you're not dead in the water, you can do it if, the, if you have a tax lien, you just get the IRS to subordinate. I'll give you some guidelines on how to get that done. I've, I've, had, I've helped many clients do this before. It's a little complicated, there's forms, there's ways to do it. Uh, your account needs to kind of help, we all have to kind of work together. It's a little tedious process. Um, they kind of want to you know, start the loan process. They want to see more documentation. So it's not like they're going to subordinate before you start the loan process. So it's a little complicated, um, but give me a call. I do these. So those are the rules on tax liens and judgments. Give me a call if you have any questions. 630-915-7550. Thanks.